Princess, and I'm out here at Divorce Beach. This is where you take your spouse when you don't want to be married anymore because no swimming here and it's very dangerous. Anyway, that's just a joke. So we came out here today. I wasn't going to come out here today because life gets busy and we were at the beach all day yesterday and you do have to actually get some work done once in a while. So I was going to stay at home, but because uh, we're packing and I'm getting ready to go back to visit Canada for a while. We've been in uh, Cabo for just over five months. And so I thought it would be fun to do last kind of big hurrah of my little daughter. Both of them are sitting right there, but the youngest one, she wanted to go stand underneath the arch. And actually right now is a special time here because the tide is out and apparently that only happens every two years or so. So it's, it's very rare for the tide to be out so far that you can actually stand under the arch. So I wasn't going to do it and I thought, well, let's do it. You know, you don't, you only get one chance to do something like that. It's very rare to do and who knows when we're going to be back. We're going to come back for sure, but it's just, uh, it would be a really amazing thing to do. So, you know, you just, you have, it's really important to, you know, you can get caught up in life and, and things can pass you by and then, you know, you never get the chance to do something like that. So anyway, we grabbed, uh, water taxi and we came out here, beautiful Lover's Beach and now we're standing on Divorce Beach and we're supposed to walk around that rock over there to get to the arch. Well unfortunately today um, the tide is a little high, the waves are a little crazy and they're not, the lifeguards over there aren't letting anybody by. But that's okay. Um, basically we're out here, it's a beautiful day and, and I haven't actually been out to Lover's beach and divorce beach yet so I'm glad we got out of the house and my girls are playing in the little caves, there's little caves everywhere around there that they can explore it and look at as well. But anyway, I'm basically, my message to you is just don't put off tomorrow what can be done today, just make the effort, like we wouldn't have known if we didn't come out here if we can go there or not, but we're still going to have a fun time and you wouldn't want to miss out on things, who knows what will happen today. Life's of an, life's, life is an adventure, so live it out loud and just make sure that you get out and add some adventure into your life because you never know what can happen. A dear friend of my family just died yesterday and it's very sad and so it just, just really makes me feel that uh, I have to grasp every moment and live it as much as I can. So anyway, this is Heather with House of Success and encouraging you to live for today and get out there and have some excitement and hopefully we can we're gonna see if we can come back out here and get some art shots for you we'll see what can happen all right cheers we'll see you at the beach adios we couldn't go under the big arch so I found the next best thing a little cave go under there the girls are scared